Hello, my name is Jennifer Kirkendall. I am the Third Circuit Representative for the Young Lawyers Division Board of Governors. Today, we're very delighted to have Timothy Dunbrack, Managing Partner of Kelly Cronenberg's Orlando office here to speak about If I Knew Then, What I Know Now. Thank you, welcome. I appreciate the opportunity to be here this morning and uh, to, to present this, this uh, interesting topic to the Young Lawyers Division. Uh, I had an opportunity to, to give this some thought and, and entitled the, the presentation this morning, uh, If I Knew Then, What I Know Now. And uh, this entailed reaching out to numerous seasoned uh, trial litigators as well as judges, asking them to give me a one sentence response to that query, if I knew then what I know now, and thought I would take some of the more interesting uh, responses that might apply to young lawyers getting started with their career. That's great. What about if we could focus first on leading up to trial? Did anybody have any great advice for that? They did, and, and I was reminded of a great quote by Abraham Lincoln who said that if he was given six hours to cut down a tree, he'd spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. And I thought that this was, was very applicable because preparation really is the key to building a case to trial, and so that the bulk of the time really should be spent preparing in that regard. Uh, another response to that query, if, if I knew then what I know now in terms of preparation, uh, was uh, an attorney who said that uh, she would not be influenced by the credentials or the appearance of her opponent. And I thought that this was very helpful because particularly with new attorneys, we often size up our opponents by perhaps where they went to law school or uh, what kind of car they drive, or if they've got a slick website. And those things really don't mean a whole lot. And uh, a new up-and-coming attorney can certainly beat an opponent who may be better credentialed or uh, have more of the trappings of success simply by out-preparing that opponent and spending the time understanding the case and spending the time really listening and looking at the facts. So I thought that was very helpful as well. Uh, another helpful response in preparing for trial was something just uh, as simple as reading the statute. Uh, workers' compensation law, which is what I practice, uh, is primarily uh, based in statute. But we often jump ahead to reading the case law as opposed to just the simple words of the statute. And very often, that is where the, the, the key to the case lies, is simply in reading the, the basic tenets of, of the statute. And, that advice from a, a, a very successful litigator uh, I thought was, was helpful as well. One of the other responses in terms of preparing uh, a case that, that was worth presenting this morning uh, was to explain your case to a non-lawyer. Because very often, uh, we as attorneys tend to be kind of myopic, and we look at a case just within the details of, of uh, the case as we see it, but we don't see the broad picture of actually what's going on. And by, a, by, by presenting a case and explaining it to a non-lawyer, we're often able to get feedback from somebody and it helps us see the case as well. That scenario reminded me of a case that I had some years back in which I was representing a golf course and uh, one of their workers, who was a lady that drove a, a drink cart around the golf course uh, selling beverages, alleged that she had been struck by lightning. And so uh, and she was suing the golf course. So I discussed the case with my family at dinner, and my son, who was probably 10 years old at the time, asked me if the lady was wearing jewelry. And I, I asked why that might be something that he would ask, and he said, well, if she was wearing jewelry and she was struck by lightning, that then perhaps uh, she'd have burn marks around her wrists or her neck or her ears where she was wearing the jewelry. And that turned out to be a, a cornerstone part of the case. And it certainly served as a good lesson for me to speak to non-lawyers about cases because they may have insight that, that we just don't see. Uh, the one last thing, and I think this was the, the, one of the more uh, prevalent responses to my inquiry about if I knew then, what I know now uh, was the response by many attorneys saying that they simply wish that they had taken more cases to trial. 
Uh, and that, that resonated with me as well because many of us are litigators. That's what we're supposed to do. And if you've done this preparation and you've properly counseled your client and you let them make the decision, then that's what we should be doing. We should be taking the case to trial. All right. Thank you so much for being here and participating with Mentoring with the Masters. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely.